Hello everyone, this is João Appel for Production Music Live and in this video we are going to take a look at our new MIDI and preset pack for Diva which is the fabulous sounding virtual analog synth from Muhi and we are going to be using that pack to create all of the synth sounds and most of the drum sounds that you can hear in this track. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is to delete all the instances of Diva that we have on this track. We have nine instances, instances of Diva and uh, Diva is quite heavy on the CPU, but when I created these presets, I had that in, that in mind and tried to keep the, the number of voices and the voice stack as low as possible in order to make the presets light and still have really fat sound. So we are going to delete all of these nine tracks and we are going to be left only with our main drums that sound like this. It's a kick, a kick sidechain, a normal kick, a clap and a ride. Everything else was created using Diva. So the first thing that we are going to do is to add an instance of Diva. So just load it up into your project. And once you installed our preset pack, which is, which, which is just copying it into your presets folder on your Diva installation folder, you will be able to find the PML Diva Melodic Techno presets which include all 100 presets uh, that we created for the synth. And also, in that pack, you will be able to find the MIDI files corresponding to each preset. So I'm just going to rename the track here to Bass Rebirth, which is going to be the first sound or the first synth sound that we are going to create. So let's go to our MIDI files list and drag in our base rebirth MIDI file, which looks like this. It's a, a long root note, Bodzin style, with some punctuation and notes on the upper octaves to give it some rhythm and some melody. So one of the things that we can do with this preset and MIDI pack is very easily create new ideas or new elements in our tracks, the tracks that we are working, working on. Uh, since this is MIDI, then we can change the root note of the files, we can add new notes, we can remove stuff that we don't like, we can adapt this and make it our own, not only on the MIDI part, but also on the preset uh, parts. So what I'm going to do now here is to load our base rebirth preset that is correspondent to the base rebirth uh, MIDI file and we are going to listen to how this sounds. Okay, it already sounds great. Since this is a synth, we can do anything that we want to it. We can change it to make it our own very, very easily. So before we continue, I'm just going to select all my notes and just go one semitone up so we can get into the G key. Just added our shortcut for the cutoff frequency here, so we don't have to open the, the preset or the synth all the time.
since this is one of those types of basses that are uh, constantly playing, even on top of the kick, we should first start by adding a compressor with sidechain inputs to make sure that the kick and the bass line are not struggling to or fighting for the same space in the mix. So let's add our kick sidechain as the input. Let's make it bigger ratio. Okay, even when the note is straight, there are no uh, th nothing happening on the on the upper octaves. We've got LFO two, which is synchronized to one eighth dotted. Uh, that's making our uh, bass line not so straight. So let's let's increase the LFO here just so you can listen to what exactly this is doing. So we don't want a lot of this, but it's uh, a way of having a little, a little something extra happening while the straight note is playing. Because uh, when the other notes are playing, the bass sounds, sounds great, but when it's just one note, I thought that we needed something else to spice things up, and that, that's the, what LFO2 is doing here. So let's just repeat the bass. Okay, sounds great. So I'm going to add another instance of Diva. And for this one, I'm going to choose an FX roulette. This one is great. I'm not going to use the MIDI clip since this is an effect is really easy to Oops. It's really easy to just draw a long note on our key. Which is G. This effect has the rate of LFO automated by the envelope, automated, no, controlled by the envelope, which means that the LFO starts really fast and then so, uh, slowly starts getting, uh, the speed starts dropping. Let's listen to it in solo. Okay. So that sounds great. Let's listen to how it sounds together with all the other elements. Maybe we can add the same sidechain compressor here. Just copy and paste it, and maybe not so 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 aggressive. Okay. 
Okay, sounds good. So for our intro, let's add another instance of Diva. Let's go to the presets and choose one of the drums. The noise hat preset. Uh, let's go for our midis and I'm sure there's a MIDI corresponding to this preset. Here it is. Couple of octaves. Let's see how it sounds. It's just our noise oscillator, nothing else. With a high pass frequency filter here to remove some of the low, low end stuff. And it's just a simple hat made out of the noise synth. Let's rename this. And one thing that we can always do with these noise drums is to automate the filter decay so we can have bigger or shorter notes and create a little bit more of contrast for breaks and to draw attention to changes in the track. So let's listen to how that sounds. Okay, so we are going to be automating the amp decay, not the filter decay. It has a bigger impact. And we are going to use it just for our uh, mini intro here. So we are going to do something like this. Start with very little decay. Then increase over time. Okay, let's show our automation. And let's start near zero and just and then slowly bring it up. Okay, let's do the same with volume. Okay, cool. Of course, we could continue with this drum. But we don't want that. We're just using these drums for uh, breaks and for like a, a snare, giving it some contrast. So what, can I, what else can we do? Let's add another effect for our intro. Let's make this smaller. So another diva. And let's add another effect. Let's go for the silver lining or silver line. No, it's an atmosphere, it's not an effect, sorry. Here it is. Let's listen to how this sounds.
Okay, it's like a super saw sweep. I, I was inspired by my JP8000 in this one. Um, it's a very typical sound used in a lot of stuff, but mainly in Psytrance, I love it. Okay, let's add the same sidechain compressor. Yes, and for the drums as well. Maybe for here, for this effect. It's not an effect, it's an atmosphere. We'll make it with less such and compression. Okay, so since we are not using the, the noise hat as a main drum, then we are going to need um, some kind of rhythm here, and we are going to use Diva for that again. So let's go to our presets, PML Diva Melodic Techno, go to the drums and choose Shake It. Shake It, here it is. This is a simple shaker made with noise um, as well. So let's go to our MIDI files list. Look for the drum, shake it, add it here. Let's look at the MIDI clip and listen to it. Okay, it has a lot of velocity happening and bigger and smaller notes and on different octaves. That if, even if we are talking about noise, uh, there will be a difference between lower and upper octaves if we, for example, make the filter affected by velocity or any of the envelopes affected by velocity or any of the modifications. You can always use velocity as a modulation source in your synths. So let's listen to how the drum, the shaker drum sounds. Let's give it also the same compressor. Okay, let's listen to how that sounds. Make it thinner with this high pass frequency filter, or you can give it more low frequencies by dragging it down. Okay, starting to sound great, let's add another instance of D.Va and let's add another effect. This time we are going to use the effect called Sprinkler. FX Sprinkler, where is it? Here it is. Let's copy this one here. Take the volume down, this is also noise.
Let's give it our usual sidechain compressor. Much less volume. This noise is a little bit different because it has the phaser on, so it gives that rotating feeling. Let's give it a little bit more attack here. Take a little bit more of the low frequencies out. And let's listen to it again. Okay, we can add our effects roulette here as well, but instead of using exactly the same note, let's drop it an octave or two. This is one uh, good way of making the same instrument sound different on different parts of the track. If you listen to the, the FX roulette here. It's very different than here. Okay, so the same effect can sound completely different. If we, if we go three octaves up or three octaves down, it will sound completely different. And it's a good way of refreshing and recycling the same stuff that you are using before, the same instrument, but with a different sound without having to add a new track. So we have a few effects. We have our main bass line. We have a nice drum made out of noise. We are going to use an arpeggiator next. So let's add another instance of Diva. Let me just make these tracks a little bit smaller. So we have space for everything. And in this one, we are going to be using an arp that I named Semi. So let's go to Diva. Go for our presets, and here it is, our semi arp. And let's go to our MIDI preset, uh, MIDI files list, and use the corresponding MIDI right here. So from here, when the clap starts, we are also going to be adding an arpeggiator. The MIDI file is already uh, done and it has full notes from the beginning to the end. That means that the arpeggio is being made by the synth itself. So the arpeggiator is on here and the arpeggiator is restarting not on the 16 step mark but on the 12 step mark. So it will have more of a triplet feeling instead of a fourth feeling. So let's listen to how this sounds. If I just press play without changing any notes, I'm sure that these notes will not fit very well with all the other notes that we had before, because we are working in G, and this is not in G. So what can we do? We just select all the, um, the notes and make the, the root note G. So let's see how that sounds now. And 
know what this effects roulette we made it one octave down but we should have made it one octave up because it's really really low Okay, since this is MIDI, we are not uh, stuck with only these notes. We can make variations, for example. Let's listen to how this sounds. There's a lot of things that we can do here. This note makes it fit well with the variation from the bytes, from the bass line. So this is MIDI and the MIDI is being controlled by a synth. So you can do anything you want. You can use different presets on the same MIDI. You can have different MIDIs on the same preset. Uh, you can use this to start a song. You can use this to add elements to a, a song that you're working on. Uh, in case uh, you're stuck or you don't have any inspiration. So it's a really good way of um, allowing you to very easily add killer elements to your track and resolve problems that you were having in terms of creativity. And also, and most importantly, learn how, to, how these things were done and maybe give you some insights on how to create your own presets and how to create your own correspondent MIDI files for your library. So let's listen to it again from the beginning, see how does it sound. So very easily we can start or create new ideas for the tracks that we are working on using this pack of presets and corresponding MIDI files. You can get the full pack with the MIDI and the preset files from the links in the description. Stay tuned for more content from Production Music Lab and I'll see you in the next one. Welcome to Production Music Live. In this course, we are going to make a track in the style of Bogus Brecher and we are going to make it from start to finish. So we're starting with a blank Ableton and we're working our way up to drum programming, bass line, instruments, arrangement, mixing and mastering until we have a full track we can play in the club. Everything will be explained in detail as if we are sitting side by side in the studio and we are only going to work with Ableton and one third party plugin, which in this case will be Massive. Ready to go? So let's get started.